All right, so I was watching a comparison the other day that came out between uh, this Milwaukee, an Ego, um, and a steel gas chainsaw. And um, it occurred to me that uh, in this thing I was watching, this the Milwaukee comes with a uh, semi-chisel chain, 325, and that's what was used. And the um, Ego comes with, I think a full chisel, but a 325. And I've really observed the steel comes with a 3 8 pitch um, that those teeth take off a lot more. And if the saw can handle a 3 8 chain, it's going to chow a lot more wood. Um, so I just kind of wanted to run this. And this, this is the bar that comes with the Milwaukee here. And there's the 325 chain. It comes with semi and then a full chisel, um, and then another, uh, I can't remember, I'll look at the kind. Um, I think this is uh, Oregon. And then I have this bar here that's 3 8 And if I swap this gear, it'll run the 3 8 chain. Um, and I haven't run it long term to see how it holds up, but so far so good. Um, and I believe this is off the three eights low profile, uh, top handle, but it seems to work for the three eights full. So uh, my observation, like I said, is you get a lot more cutting done. So I just wanted to try each of these chains and a few cuts and see how they do, but I'm going to show you these chains before I go out and cut with them. So if you look right up close, that's the one it comes with. And you can see that that corner is rounded. It's, it's, it's not a sharp edge there. And um, it's, got a, it's got a big gullet for a 325. Um, this one's smaller, and I'll compare it right. Let's see if I can get that next to it so you can see. They're both Oregon chains, but you can see that the the shape is a little different um, on this. And this one's a full chisel. You see how there's a corner up there instead of it being rounded. The bite sh the bite shape is a little different. I'm not sure what Milwaukee uses on that semi that comes with it, but this looks like it's a little it sticks out um, towards me a little bit more, so it might take a wider swath. And then this one here is a frostbite, which kind of, that mimics more of the Husqvarna um, shape, but it's still a 325. So I'm going to try each of these chains on the original bar that comes with the Milwaukee, but then we're going to move up to that 3 8 bar, and that's a uh, Oregon 3 8 and then that's a Husqvarna, which... Like I said, that 325 kind of mimics that shape, but that's much larger. And I'll, and I'll show you the size comparison here. Um, you know, that, that 3 8 that thing is just much bigger. That's going to take more material. And where I know that this Milwaukee has a lot of torque, I believe that I can handle it just fine. And I think you're going to see this thing take a lot more material with those three three-eighths chains, but it's just a theory. I wanted to take you on that journey, so we're going to go make some cuts, and we're going to see how the different chains do. Alright, first up is the semi-chisel that comes with the saw, and this will all be on full power. Try to do one without. 
about stalling a saw. This is uh, got an Oregon LGX series chain on it, which is the most aggressive 325 full chisel that Oregon makes, to my knowledge. And they make pretty good chains, so we'll give this a try. Three two five chain. This is the frostbite, which mimics the geometry of a C thirty three husky, which seems to be an elusive chain to find. So we're just using this. We'll see how that goes. One more time. This is the first of two 3 8 pitch chains we're using. This is the Oregon EJ ELX or EXL series, which is their aggressive full chisel 3 8 we'll try the Husqvarna C33 which has done really well with these electric saws in my opinion all right I saved what was in my opinion the best for last based on experience we'll see if that holds true Husqvarna C83 
full chisel, 3 8 chain. I was pretty surprised by those results, but I see that chain's pretty loose. I'm just gonna try tightening it up and giving it one more shot. All right, I tightened the chain because I heard that chattering the whole time. So we'll see if that makes any sort of difference on this. C83. All right, so this this definitely did better when I tightened it up. Um, that chain being loose affected it or too loose. Um, it was still chattering, but pretty surprised by some of the results here. The uh, the semi chisel three two five actually did better than one of the full chisels. Um, but like I sh I showed you, the cutters on that are bigger than any other three two five I've seen. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, in that way just because even though it's a 325 as we saw earlier it had really big cutters and then um the exl did the best by a lot on the full chisel um and previous tests with the uh battery chainsaws where the c83 had done better i think it didn't have the torque to pull it um to its full potential where this milwaukee does that's my guess um but those are the results clearly better time with the uh full chisel uh three eighths chain that that's the best time which is that part is not surprising um not by as much as i had thought but by a significant amount of time um so if you want to run these they will run it i think because you're cutting more wood using more power you'll probably wind up suffering battery life for that exchange but those are results. Hope that was helpful. I learned a little bit. Hopefully you did too.